Question 7. Benzene can be used to make benzoic acid in two-step process. From the benzene to benzoic acid, so you need to form the methyl benzene first. In order to form methyl benzene, we need to use the carbocation. So with this carbocation, then the benzene ring will react with it and form this intermediate and eventually uh, is formed methyl benzene and the H plus released. So how to form this carbocation? So we need to use the chloromethane with the catalyst, which is the aluminum correct. When these two react, so it will form the carbocation that needed. So therefore, for the reagent and the conditions in step one, we need to use the this uh, chloromethane and uh, this AlCl3. So therefore, the step one uh, we call alkylation. The name of the mechanism we call electrophilic substitution. After it's formed the methyl benzene from this figure 7.1, uh, it's quite clear that the methyl groups now is changed to COOH. So from here we know that uh, because it's uh, remove hydrogen and add oxygen, this is very clear that uh, it's about oxidation. To oxidize the alkyl benzene, in this case is methyl benzene, we need to use the hot alkaline KMnO4. This is the, the first thing that uh, we need to use. After that, it need to undergo uh, this uh, acidification, means it need to be acidified. So we, uh, we need to put the dilute acid to react with the, the, the products from the, these steps. So because after the hot alkaline chemical 4 is actually will form the, the uh, benzoic ion, right? Means the you form this benzoic ion, and this one need to be acidified. Then uh, with the H plus, then you form the COOH. So therefore, normally is uh, is followed by the acid addition. Part B is the <clears throat> carbon enema and the uh, table 7.1 uh, is given uh, some information about the hybridization environment of uh, carbon atom, examples and chemical shift. Actually, we just need to use uh, two or three um, uh, informations in this table. Okay, let's see what they asked um, for this one. The to, to complete, uh, so this one is uh, use table 7.1 to complete two sentences to suggest the description of the these two spectra. The carbon enamel of methyl benzene. Uh, first, you must know methyl benzene, uh, of course, is given in the question. Uh, this is a methyl benzene, right? So from the structure, then uh, you need to uh, know how many peaks is formed and what is a chemical shift from this methyl benzene so we know that uh, this methyl is going to form one peak and this one is uh, in the range because it's as chemical range so it's in the range of 25 to 50 because this uh, this methyl group is next to a ring means the carbon when it's next to the benzene ring so the chemical shift is 25 to 50 so therefore you see one peak in this range 25 to 50 and this is for the methyl group this carbon and you will see four peaks in the range of 110 to 160 so which is uh, from the benzene ring 
So which four peaks? So benzene, we know that it has six carbon. But it just formed four peaks. Why? Because this one is one peak. This one is second. And this carbon actually is the is uh, similar to this carbon. It's equivalent. And therefore, it will give one peak only. And this one will give another peak. And this one is similar again. It's equivalent. So this carbon will give one peak. Same as this one. Means it's just going to form one, two, three, four peaks here. Even though it's six carbon, but it's just four peaks. And this one is the uh, the benzene ring, means the arrange. So when the carbon in the arrange means the benzene ring. So the chemical shift is 110 to 160. So therefore, you can fill up okay, this space with the information. Now, we have another compound, uh, which is the benzoic acid. Of course, benzoic acid also given in the question earlier. So for this benzoic acid, uh, also, it will produce a few peaks. Okay, let's start with the, the COOH. So the carbon in COOH is the carboxyl carbon. And it will give one peak from the table. So we are quite sure that is this one, carboxyl carbon. And its chemical range is 160 to 185. So you just need to put one P for this one, COOH, the carbon uh, in the carboxyl. And the range is 160 to 185. And again, you see four peaks in the arene, arene chemical shift. So the arene chemical shift again is 110 to 160 here, this one. And also it will produce four peaks. Okay, similar to the methyl benzene. So this carbon will give one peak. These two carbon will give one peak. These two carbon will give one peak, and this one will give another one. So therefore, you see four peaks here. Part C1. When treated with chlorine under suitable condition, uh, methyl benzene form compound J. This one. When treated with chlorine under different condition with different reagent, the methyl benzene now is form K. Suggest and draw the structure of compound J and K in the boxes. The molecular formula that given for J and K actually they are the same. So means it depends on uh, the structure that you suggest, then you need to put the reagents and conditions accordingly. Okay, first, you need to at least know the molecular formula of the methyl benzene, so which is C7H8. And the J that form is C7H7Cl. So means it's, it's uh, lost one hydrogen and add one chlorine. So this one is uh, is uh, the electrophilic substitution because when it's electrophilic substitution, the chlorine will add into the ring and it will substitute the hydrogens in the ring. So what you need to suggest is this one. Okay, the methyl benzene now with the chlorine. So it's a chloro methyl benzene. And the position of this chlorine is very important because uh, we know that the alkyl group is the 246 directing. So what is 246 directing? So this is first carbon and this is second carbon. Okay, third carbon, fourth carbon, 
fifth and six. So means when there is a uh, uh, our Q group, so if you direct this two four six, means your answer it can be this one, or you can put the chlorine at the fourth carbon there. So this one is uh, the electrophilic substitution, eh? and for the K, also same molecular formula. Uh, this is also a substitution, but this substitution is different from the J. And the substitutions most likely must happen in this side chain, means in this methyl group. So this methyl group need to undergo substitution when when uh, alkyl group or alkane undergo substitution means it need to be free radical substitution. So for the free radical substitution, we need to use the chlorine with UV. This one is in AS. Right? You learned in AS last time. Okay, of course to form J again to form J because it's the substitutions, uh, uh, the electrophilic substitutions uh, with the benzene ring. So therefore we need to use chlorine and the catalyst, aluminum chloride. So it depends on what the structure you draw, then you suggest the conditions and the reagents. Part two. When treated with chlorine containing reagent under suitable condition, benzoic acid form compound L. With, when treated with different chlorine containing reagent under different condition, now it's form M. So now please be careful because L and M, their molecular formula is slightly different. So you have to compare accordingly. Again, first, you must know the molecular formula of benzoic acid for the comparison. So it's C7H6O2. After the reaction, let's say, uh, for to form L, so now the molecular formula is C7H5ClO2. So the change is what? The hydrogen actually reduced by one and the chlorine added. So means minus hydrogen at chlorine. This one is very obvious, it's telling you it's a substitution. And this substitution it must be in the ring, not the carboxylic acid, not the not the uh, COO here. It must be in the ring. And for this uh, benzoic acid, this uh, COOH, because this is the electron withdrawing group, uh, so is if you direct three five, means when there is a electrophilic substitution, the chlorine will go to the third and fifth carbon, or fifth carbon. So this is the first carbon. This is second carbon. This is third carbon. So means the chlorine. Okay, will direct to this third carbon when there is an electrophilic substitution. Yeah, this one is the thing you must know uh, for the electron donating and the electron withdrawing group. For the compound M, from this uh, benzoic acid C7H6O2, now it's from C7H5ClO. So now, minus OH because here is two oxygen here is one oxygen six hydrogen five hy hydrogen so it's going to minus OH and add one chlorine here so this is quite obvious OH will remove from the COOH here only so means it will remove here and add the chlorine to this C this uh, CO double bond Right. Okay, therefore it will form this acyl correct. So state the reagent and condition to form compound M. So this one is the how to convert the carboxylic acid to the acyl correct. So we will use the three compound 
is the PCL5 or PCL3 with heat or SOCL2. This is the reagents that or and conditions that needed to convert the carboxylic acid to the acyl correct. Acyl correct. Okay, that's all. Thank you.